Well, looks like a great day for an adventure. Let's go. Today's adventure started out like any other, a day exploring the beautiful backcountry of the East Kootenays in beautiful British Columbia. However, along the way today, something odd happened. And I wasn't really sure what it was, and I didn't think much of it till I got home and watched some video footage. My good friend CJ was in town, and I decided to take her for a hike to Top of the World Provincial Park to see Fish Lake. Well, here we are for our journey today. We're heading up to Top of the World Provincial Park. We're gonna hike up to Fish Lake. We've got probably about an hour, hour and a half hike ahead of us. I'll take some photos along the way. I'll see you when we get there. When we get there. Yeah, see you when we get there. I didn't expect much of the 13 kilometer round trip hike, but perhaps I should have paid closer attention to the warning signs. To be safe, I thought it'd be a good idea to let CJ lead the way. Of course, you know, just to make sure that the trail was clear, that there weren't any tripping hazards or anything. Thanks. The first half of the trip was going well and uneventful, and I was glad that I brought my hat along, which I had recently picked up traveling through Panama, to block the sun as it was so powerful shining between the trees. When we got to about the halfway point, we came to a beautiful open mountain meadow, the sun was shining bright, and that's when it happened. No, wasn't a bear. I can't explain, but a, a bolt of energy shot through my body. I, I jumped, my heart skipped a beat, and literally I, it took my breath away for a split second. How was it? I didn't mention anything to CJ at that moment. I didn't want her to worry or be concerned that maybe I was having a medical emergency, but there was something strange about the sun that day. This next scene is actual footage which I saw for the first time when I got home that evening. Now it's not doctored in any way, there are no sound effects, this is the actual footage. 2.4 kilometers, that's not so bad, eh? 2.4 kilometers, sorry. And that was it. I know it doesn't look like much there, but boy, when I seen it that evening, after feeling that energy bolt go through me earlier in the day, my mind was blown, and I literally said, what the <laughs> was that? Actually, a few moments later, I felt fine, and I kind of dismissed the whole thing and carried on trying to make a happy vlog for all my viewers. Well, <clears throat> about halfway through our journey so far, trail is nice and smooth, big, wide, a few uh, patches of bear poop on the trail, but... I'm sure we'll see a lot more people when we get up to Fish Lake. Now the story doesn't end there. A few moments later I caught up to CJ and she looked back at me and said, Hey, where's your hat? And that was funny. I did have a hat a few minutes ago, but all of a sudden my hat was gone. The story gets even a little stranger. After CJ and I had a little chat on the bridge about where my hat could have gone, she walked off ahead and I noted something was bothering her. She didn't say anything and I never really caught up to her again until we got right up to the lake. Well, for the 5th of September, it is an absolutely beautiful day out here in the Kootenays. I think it's in the high 20s. And even in the shade, it's still quite warm. Almost to the lake. I'll show you some photos when we get there. Now. 
When we finally got to the lake, we sat down, took off our packs, and enjoyed a nice lunch that we brought with us. We also brought along a bottle of rosé champagne, and we celebrated with a toast to this beautiful day and this amazing hike. And then it was selfie time. The views were absolutely spectacular. The lake was amazing. There was quite a few people out there enjoying the day, hiking, and there were quite a few people camping as well. And I actually forgot all about the little event that happened at the halfway marker. After that, I decided to head out on my own and explore the far side of the lake. I was hoping to get some more video footage and I wanted to get a better angle of the camp with better lighting. I heard there's some waterfalls over there so I was looking to see if I could get that perfect Instagram photo. And it wasn't until I returned back to the lake that I got another big surprise. Well, I found the waterfalls and I got my Instagram pic and I decided it might be a good idea to start heading back to the other side of the lake. When I got back to the lake, CJ and I started packing up and getting ready for the hike back down. And that's when I noted that something was still bothering her. And I asked her, I said, hey, are you okay? And she said, yeah, I'm fine. I just had a little episode earlier in the day. When I asked her, when was that? She said it was back in the meadow when we stopped during the trip on the way up around halfway. And that's when I told her what happened to me in the very same spot in that meadow back halfway up. We just looked at each other and we were spellbound and we didn't say a word for about a minute. Now remember, I hadn't even seen the video footage yet, so we still kind of both brushed this off as coincidence. We packed up all our gear, started to head out of camp, and make our way back down the trail. I'm not sure if it was the altitude or maybe it was the rosé champagne, but we were feeling pretty good. <laughs> Watch out for the forest. We laughed and giggled all the way down, coming up with strange stories what had happened to us. Maybe we were transported through time. Maybe we were abducted by aliens. There was something about that sun, though. I kept peeking its eye on us through those trees. Must have been cosmic rays. I think it was 5G networks causing that problem. Just some universal frequency. But I don't know, that sun really had something to do with it. And that's the end of my strange little story. I really don't know exactly what happened to us in that meadow. I never did find my hat. Has something like this happened to you ever? If so, please share your story in the comments below. Or if you've been up to Fish Lake and Top of the World Park, please share your story in the comments below as well. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Floyd Ventures. Enjoying another magical moment in supernatural British Columbia.